In today's tutorial, I'll be guiding you through my process of creating a seamless gingham pattern repeat in Procreate. At the end of this tutorial, I will also include a great tip for creating other colourways quickly. This classic and timeless pattern is perfect for various design projects and I'll take you through each step to ensure a seamless and professional finish. Let's get started. First, we'll start by setting up our canvas. Inside Procreate, tap the plus sign at the top right of the screen. A menu will open. Tap the icon on the top right of the menu to create a new canvas. Choose the dimensions of your choice. I will be choosing 2000 by 2000 pixels. Make sure the DPI is set to 300. Next, on the left of the screen, select Colour Profile. If you are intending to print this design onto physical products, you would typically select the CMYK colour option. But if your design is intended for the screen, as in my case, then you would select the RGB colour profile. Finish by tapping Create at the top right of the screen. Now that we are inside the project, we will choose our main colour to create the gingham effect. Tap the coloured circle on the top right of the screen to open up the colour menu. We want to choose a colour that complements the gingham style we are going for. Using the disc or classic option at the bottom of the colour menu, choose your colour. I have chosen a pastel blue colour. Drag this colour onto the canvas to fill the layer. Tap the layer icon, swipe left and tap Duplicate. On selected layer, swipe left again to create a third duplicate. Now we have three layers filled with our chosen colour. With the top layer selected, swipe right on the next layer and with both layers selected, tap the Transform tool. Check that Uniform is selected, then tap Snapping Options. Make sure magnetics and snapping are both on and distance and velocity are set to full. Tap snapping again to close. Now from the right hand corner drag down to the centre until it snaps to an exact quarter of the canvas. With the layers still selected tap the layers icon, swipe right again on one of the layers to deselect it. Select the Transform tool again. Now we will move the layer, still selected, to the opposite corner until it snaps into position. Tap the layer icon and set the top layer blending mode to Add. Select the second layer and set to Multiply, Color Burn or Screen. Now we are going to group the three layers. With one layer selected, Swipe right on the other two layers and select Group. Collapse Group, swipe left and tap Duplicate. On the original group, swipe left, lock and hide. This is now a template for future colour or texture changes. On the top group, tap and flatten. Now we have our workable layer to transform into our gingham pattern repeat. The following steps will be repeated until you have the scale you want. With the gingham square selected, swipe left and create a duplicate. Swipe right on the layer beneath and tap the transform tool. Using the top right corner, drag to centre until it snaps to an exact quarter. Next, tap the layer icon and swipe right on one of the layers. Select the transform tool and drag up to snap on top of the previous selection. Tap the layer icon and pinch the two squares to flatten. We now have a flattened half. Now swipe left and duplicate. Select the transform tool and drag to the right until it snaps perfectly. Tap the layer icon and pinch the two halves together. Repeat this process until you have the scale you want. Now 
I will now show you how to change the colour of your final pattern. Duplicate your final pattern tile by tapping the layer icon and swiping left. Duplicate the layer. Tap the effects tool and select U Saturation Brightness. Using the free dials, adjust to recolor your final pattern. You can now save your pattern tile. Congratulations, you have now successfully created a professional gingham pattern repeat using Procreate. I hope this tutorial has been informative and valuable to you. If you enjoy this content, kindly consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more tutorials. In the meantime, thank you for watching and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.